All right, let's talk about the 101 of pop-up emitters, why they're number one for discharging anything. The pop-up emitter doesn't hold any water. It's just a little elbow, so it doesn't hold any water. A basin, on the other hand, holds quite a bit of water, and that could be a problem. You're trying to get that to leach into the subsoil after the rain event. You can drill some holes in a pop-up emitter, and you could drain that out pretty easily. All right, now let's talk about the cons. The cons are definitely... The way they build these pop-up emitters, whether they're spring-loaded or not... In the center, they have a hub. And then you can see they have spokes going off, you know, to the outer rim of this pop-up emitter. You can see how now you lose this big opening. What happens leaves branches, pine cones, things like that. They can't get through there without getting hung up. You know, here's, here's an example. You can't get a pine cone through that one. That one's not a spring. That one happens to be melted plastic. Not a fan of these at all. They're cheap, weak, and you can see you can't pass even a, a simple pine cone. That's why you do not ever want to use something like this great. This is great for venting. You know, I see a lot of people use these. I don't recommend them because you're never going to get leaves or anything through them for discharging. Now, the pop-up that we prefer, because it's made to where it doesn't have those cross braces. It's pretty cool, actually. You're going to see just a, an amazing large opening. We drill a few holes. You can see the holes drilled in the elbow at the bottom. Again... This is a small elbow right here. You can see that that's not going to hold very much water. You drill holes in the bottom, that'll leach into clay. Yes, clay will leach a few glasses of water, no problem. That's why it goes from hard like concrete to mud. So you, you will get it to leach some. After a couple of days, there will be no more water in this line. That's what's nice. So a real big opening pop-up. Now the other thing, I don't recommend using pop-ups that don't have something to help restrict the grass from growing over it. The grass grows right over top of these so fast, it's the number one reason why basements flood, right here. Grass growing over top of it. The pop-up emitter is the best tool for ending your line, your drainage system of any kind. It's definitely the go-to. This doesn't hold any water, it's really nice, just a few glasses of water. Problem is, grass grows over it. That's why we go ahead and we put this large plate around the pop-up with a turf restrictor plate and with a pop-up that has a hinge, you're guaranteed not to have any problems. All right, everybody, until that next video. For all these products, I'll leave a link down below.